Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I know it's hip hop, and I know I got on my preaching robe, but you know, my mama made this, and she's not with me anymore, and it's her birthday coming up. So I'm wearing this today in honor of my mama. Is that okay? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. She made her baby something. It was the last thing that she sold for me. So it's okay. Hallelujah. <clears throat> okay, we got 10 minutes. Let's do this. <laughs> Pray for me as I sing uh, Resurrected by Love. And you'll understand it once we go after it in the Word. Will you share 
Will you share it? Will you share it? Because it's all about his love and it's all about being resurrected, huh? And I was on my knees, I'm trying to do this in 10 minutes, and I was on my knees one night and I was tired of being sin sick. Do you understand? I put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up. And I know somebody else in here understands what I'm talking about because life is a journey. You see, you can put down the drink, you can put down the man, but there's something else that you can't put down. And God understands it tonight. Tonight, God says, do you want to be resurrected? So as I'm laying on the edge of my bed, Papa, I'm tired. Get the sin out of my life, I'm tired. And I, and I read Romans 8.13. Your scriptures are Romans 8.13. Romans 8.13 says that Holy Spirit will mortify the deeds of your flesh. <laughs> Write that down. The other scripture tonight is found in Ezekiel chapter 26, verse, verse 21 all the way down through 27. And the other scripture is Nehemiah 3, verse 14. Nehemiah 3.14 talks about the dung gate. That's about the holy of holies. You see, I've been in the holy of holies, and I've been preaching on it for a year. And every time I get to another gate, God allows me to step into it in the spiritual realm. And uh, Romans 8.13 talks about the mortification process. In Ezekiel, it talks about the stones being taken out of your heart. Hallelujah. And how God will sprinkle you with clean water and you shall be clean. Hallelujah. So I'm laying on the edge of my bed. And I'm saying, Holy Spirit, will you take it away? I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm looking at sin going down from the first to the third to the second to the fourth generation. Hallelujah. And I just want to be free. And I went to bed that night. And I had a dream. And in the dream, I dreamed exactly what that song says. I took a trip to heaven, and I was inside a cave. It was a tomb, and over there on the tomb was this body, these dry, dead bones. And I saw Holy Spirit hovering back and forth, back and forth. And I heard the angels singing, my mercies are sure. And I heard Holy Spirit singing, and my grace, grace, never falls. You see, when you walk through life, you get stones in your heart. They create bitterness. They put up blockages that, that, that where God can't get in and, and your loved ones can't get in because you've been hurt so many times till you don't know how to love anymore. And you don't know how to pe treat people right and your blessings can't come to you because you walk around in self-rejection. Don't nobody love me and I don't love me either. That's why people are drug addicts. That's why we got prostitutes. That's why we got people killing and, and beating on one another. It's just a spirit of hate. You call it racism. You call it whatever you want, but it's a spirit of hate. And it comes from the adversary. They just give it many names. But it's all the spirit of hate. And so as I laid down, God took me to the dung gate. And he began to take the stones out of my heart. And I dreamed that dream three times. Woke up three times each time. I think I'm going to see Jesus. I'm going to see Jesus. I hear the stone rolling away. I'm going to see Jesus. And I'd wake up. Lord, I didn't see Jesus. Okay, let me go back to sleep. Went back to sleep. Wow, same thing happened again. I'm in that tomb. I see Holy Spirit hovering. I hear them stones rolling away. I'm going to see Jesus. The stones roll away. I'm going to see my Savior. Wow, I'm back up again. After the third time, I didn't wake back up. I woke back up that morning. I said, Jesus, what's up with that? Because, you know, that's my homie. He's my ride and die. I talk to him any, you know, with respect and love, but I speak to him any kind of way, just in layman's terms. And he says that I, those bones, though he says that tomb, that was your tomb. <coughs> Hallelujah. He said, and, 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 that, and that, 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 that those bones, those were your bones on that slab. Because when you accepted me, when you went down in water, you died in a watery grave. He says, and those stones you heard rolling out were your heart. And I was taking the stones out of your heart. And when he finished talking to me, he says, baby, you can go out and love again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, you can go out and love again. Hallelujah. He says, you can go out and live again. And so as Holy Spirit was giving me the song, he says, will you share it? I 
said, yes, Holy Spirit. He says, but will you share it? He says, it's going to cause you to reveal yourself that you ain't perfect and you're preaching in the pulpit. And I want to know who's perfect in the pulpit. But, but it's, it's, it's going to cause you to say that you got an issue somewhere. Yes. Hallelujah. But I'm here today to tell you I'm not where I used to be. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that I walk in the resurrection power of God's love. That's Holy Spirit. That's his dunamis power. And God asked me today, God told me today that there's somebody here whose heart is broken. It's been stepped on. He says, and if you'll be honest with yourself and just raise your hand, I'll heal you today. He says, I'll heal you today. So I didn't do anything but come here just to say that Jesus is a healer and that he will heal you today. Hallelujah. All your plans, all your dreams, you know, dreams, they are meant to die. Why? So you can war over them and birth them back up. A dream will die two or three times before it comes to fruition. You see, nothing is built without a little bit of fire. Hallelujah. Nothing is built unless you work with it. Hallelujah. Otherwise you can't appreciate it. Hallelujah. That's why the soul has to go on a journey. You see, our spirits are perfect because they are filled with Holy Spirit. But it's the soul that goes on the journey. It's the soul that gets us trapped up. Hallelujah. So Jesus says, I'm here today. Hallelujah. So I'm here today. If anybody wants prayer, if anybody wants to be set free of whatever's been plaguing you, whatever's been bothering you, I'm here to pray with you today. Hallelujah. Because I stand set free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, and if anybody wants prayer afterwards, I am here to pray with you and I'll give you a prophetic word. Amen. 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 That was a